Okay, so today we're diving deep into Solana. Solana. Yeah, exactly right. It's a cryptocurrency. It's been kind of blowing up lately, you know, it went over $200. It did. We've got two articles here. One's from Crypto.News and the other one's from Decrypt.co. Interesting. And the Decrypt.co article has an interesting take on this whole price surge. Okay. It brings Donald Trump into the conversation somehow. Huh. So, yeah, we're going to try and unpack all of that right. before we get too far into it. I guess for people who aren't super familiar with Solana, sure, it's a cryptocurrency, so just like Bitcoin. Right. But it's its own thing. It has its own blockchain. Yeah, yeah. It's got its own twist. Different features. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And it's outside of banks and governments and stuff like that. Decentralized. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So what we're looking at here is a price jump of almost 9%. 9%. Pretty big jump, right? Yeah, that's not an insignificant move. So we got to figure out, is this, you know, just a random blip? A little bit of volatility. Or is there something bigger going on here? Yeah, is it a trend? And what does Trump have to do with any of this? All right, let's start with that $200 mark. Okay. That's a big deal psychologically for a lot of crypto investors. Yeah. You know, once a coin breaks through that $200 ceiling. $200 ceiling. You tend to see more confidence. Interesting. People think, oh, this is a serious player. Makes sense. And then they start buying it up. FOMO. Exactly. FOMO. Fear of missing out. So that 9% jump, that's got to be at least partially because of that psychological effect. Okay, so it's not just a regular, you know. Right. It's more than just the regular ups and downs. Yeah. Okay, I'm starting to get it. Volatility is normal, but this feels different. All right. But then we've got this whole Trump thing. The Trump connection. Yeah. Honestly, I was pretty surprised to see that. Yeah. That's not something you see every day. Not your usual crypto news. Definitely not. So the Decrypt.co article is saying that people are speculating. Speculating. About Trump. About him possibly getting reelected. Yeah, and they think that could somehow affect crypto. Some cryptos. And they're pointing to these Trump NFTs. Right. There's been a surge in trading volume. For Trump NFTs. Yeah, which is interesting. Okay, hold on. I think some people listening might not know what an NFT is. Oh, right. Good point. Can you break that down? Sure. An NFT is a non-fungible token. Okay. It's basically a digital asset it, it, that proves you own something unique. Like a digital baseball card? Yeah, kind of like that. Uh, or a piece of digital art. So like a one-of-a-kind thing? Exactly. One-of-a-kind. You can't just copy and paste. Right. It. It's verified on the blockchain. Got it. So in this case, we're talking about Trump-themed collectibles. Trump collectibles. Yeah, like digital trading cards with his face on them. So people are buying these up. Because they think. They think if he gets reelected. Those NFTs will be worth more. Exactly. Okay, so it's all speculation. It's pure speculation. So because these two things are happening at the same time. Correlation doesn't equal causation. Right, right. We need to look at the broader context. Okay, so zooming out a little bit. Yeah. What else is going on in the market that might explain Solana's rise? Well, institutional investors are getting more and more into crypto. Institutional investors. Yeah, like big investment firms. No. They're starting to see crypto as a legitimate asset class. So they're putting money into Solana. Right. And Solana is attractive because it's fast. Fast. And it has low transaction fees. Makes sense. And that makes it really appealing for developers. So people are actually using Solana. Exactly. It's not just hype. It has utility. Yeah. It has real world applications. Okay. That's good to know. And then there's DeFi. DeFi. Decentralized finance. Okay. What that? It's basically finance without banks. Whoa. You can lend, lend a, a borrow trade asset. All without a bank. Exactly. That's pretty wild. It is. And Solana is becoming a hub for DeFi. So that's probably contributing to its value too. So we've got institutional interest. Right. Real world applications. Yeah. Maybe a dash of Trump speculation. Maybe. Sounds like a recipe for a price surge. It's definitely a complex mix of factors. Yeah, no doubt about it. Crypto is never simple. So listeners, I'll leave you with a question. All right. Could this Solana situation be a sign that politics are starting to affect the crypto market? Interesting question. What other seemingly random events right. could impact crypto prices? It's a global market. Everything's connected. Think about it. Keep exploring the crazy world of crypto. And join us next time for another deep dive. See ya. See you later, later.